Hey guys, welcome to the Ignition Online Gathering. We don't think it's an accident that you're here. We're so glad that you're joining us. Uh, I'm here with Tiana Kennedy and Nicole Hart and Bree Pogue is leading worship. Uh, so say hi, everybody. Hey. 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 Awesome. Awesome. And Tiana has a reindeer behind her, uh, which is very Nick, cool. that's a that's a deer, Nick. That's a deer. <laughs> it's a deer, not a reindeer, apparently. It's Does it have a name? name? No, it doesn't have a name. Okay. All right. Well, maybe you should name it. We should name it. I have some ideas. What do you think if we put this on Instagram with some of the, the ideas I have, and then you guys help me pick it out? I like that idea. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, so cool. you put students it on there, pick. and then the, the students pick. I like it. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> awesome. And Nicole, are you at your house there? Yep, I am sitting on my dining room floor because it is the only blank wall in my household. <laughs> awesome. And then Bree, where are you at? Uh, I'm at our makeshift studio here at Hope Walkie. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. So, uh, well, we want to get continued on with our service, but uh, I just have loved seeing all the different things you guys have been putting in the chats. It, it just makes it feel like we're together, uh, even though that we're online. Uh, and all of you who like Cadbury eggs as your favorite Easter candy, you can just leave because uh, that's not even Christian. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm teasing. Give me a break. Rude. Uh, but jelly beans all the way for best Easter candy. It's Ew, you get hard. out. You get out. Jelly beans oh. are gross. Let's talk about those Reese's eggs. Come on. First jelly beans? Okay, the Reese's eggs are very good. Reese's are very eggs. Good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we should we should keep moving. So, uh, Tiana, Nicole, will you let us know uh, the announcements and what's going on? Absolutely. Again, we are so excited that you guys are here with us tonight. Why don't right now you guys can pull out your phones, uh, text your huddle group, let them know how this week has been for you, and then you can also send this link uh, of this video to a couple of friends to share it with them. Yeah, it's not too late for them to join us tonight. Tonight we are talking about how to use your influence to make hope contagious. And we would love to just spread that around to all of our friends. So go ahead and invite them right now. And talking about ways to invite your friends to get involved this week is it's Holy Week. And we have so many different services. We have Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter services all weekend long. So go on the website, check out the times and invite your friends and family. So before we get started tonight, we, uh, we just want to take a moment and pray. So, um, Nicole, will you pray for us? Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, Heavenly Father, we just invite you into all of the spaces that we're in tonight, Lord. Would you just come uh, and show up where we can experience you, where we can learn how you work through us, where we're able to share your love and your hope to those around us, Lord, uh, because no matter what situation you're in, you are always with us and you are always caring for us and you are always loving us. And we are so thankful for that. And it's in your heavenly name we pray. Amen. Jesus came and told his disciples, I've been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I've given you. And be sure of this, I'm with you always, even till the end of age. Thanks, Reagan, for uh, helping to pre-record the scripture reading. Uh, it's really cool to just kind of be able to splice some of you guys in here. I got my microphone already, uh, and I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to talk about something that's really important tonight, because Easter is coming up, and I don't know if you guys know this, but we are in a very unprecedented time, not because of coronavirus, but because of what God is doing in light of the coronavirus. L let me tell you what I mean. The, um, a lot of people thought, well, this is going to be really bad for the church. You know, uh, we're, we're going to have way less people tuning in. Guess what? We're having, uh, for our weekend worship services, tens of thousands of more views and people tuning in, which tends to have multiple people actually watching it together. Uh, it, it's insane how many people, and that's just hope. Think of all the churches around the world that are, that are uh, putting things out online right now. Uh, same thing for Ignition. We're, some of our Ignition online gatherings are having five, six times the amount of uh, people that uh, would normally just show up this time of year uh, for Ignition in person. Um, it's amazing what God is doing. There's a revival that's happening. Bible sales, the bu Bible publishers out there, they're reporting Bible sales have a huge spike right now. And here's why. The whole world is looking for hope. Coronavirus, 
it's contagious. And it's spread across the whole world. Fear, it's contagious and it's spread across the whole world. That TikTok that you made, I hope it's contagious and it spreads across the whole world. That'd be awesome, right? Uh, but uh, here's the thing that I don't want you to miss. Hope. Not our church, our church is named Hope, but what I'm talking about is the hope of eternal life. The hope in Jesus Christ, our Savior, a God who's bigger than this situation. Hope is contagious, and it spreads like wildfire. And so here's what I want you to know tonight, is that it is no accident that you are here, not just as a part of this Ignition online gathering, but that you are a part of what God is doing in the world at this time. It's no accident that you were born when you were born so that you're in this age of technology that you have access to people all the way across the globe like that. It's no accident that in the middle of one of the darkest times we're seeing the light shine the brightest. It is no accident because God is bringing a revival and if there's anything worthy of being viral and spreading across the world, isn't it a revival of the hope that we have in Jesus Christ? Here's how it happens. It happens through you and me. See, Jesus, after he rose from the dead, which we'll talk about on uh, Easter Sunday, this, this coming Sunday, after he rose from the dead, he got his disciples together. And you know what he didn't say? He, he didn't say, hey, hunker down and just kind of sit tight. And then uh, I'm going to just wrap up this whole, like, put the world back together thing all by myself. And you can, can just watch. No, he calls us into the game. It's like, it's like he said, look, now you have the vaccine. You have the vaccine. So let's go share it. This is what he said. You heard it in the Bible reading uh, that Reagan read just a minute ago. Uh, but I want to dive a little deeper into this. In, in Matthew 28, verse 18, Jesus came and told the disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. In other words, I rose from the grave and conquered sin, death, and the devil. I'm, I'm King Jesus. Uh, I've been given all authority in heaven and on earth. And then he says, because of that, because of, of Easter, uh, then you, you, this is your marching orders. Verse 19, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You know what that means? We are called to go. And you might be thinking, I'm not supposed to go anywhere. I'm, I'm uh, you know, in quarantine right now. We're social distancing. Nick, how are we supposed to go? But you live in a time where you can go right through your phone, just like we're doing right now. You live in a time where you can just hit share. You live in a time where you could post anything about your story on any social media platform, and it would be accessible to millions and it could go viral. And it wouldn't go viral because you're awesome. I, well, maybe it would. You're awesome. Uh, God made you, and I, I think you're awesome. But I think if something like that were to go viral, it'd be because hope is contagious. And Jesus spreads hope through his people. And so Jesus, he tells his disciples, go and make disciples. Maybe you don't think of yourself as a disciple maker, but Jesus calls you one. Go and make disciples of all nations. Don't argue with them until they become a Christian. Don't try to intellectually persuade them to become a Christian. There's a place for some of those things, but I, I've rarely heard the story. You know, someone argued with me and then I decided, yeah, I'm probably wrong and I need to become a Christian now. I just, I, maybe it's out there. I, I think God can work miracles, but that one, I just haven't heard that story. You know what story I hear a lot more is... Well, a friend of mine invited me to come to Ignition, and I did. And when I was there, I felt like I met God. And I've been different ever since. I hear stories like, you know, my family, we moved and uh, we started coming to Hope uh, after my dad and my mom got divorced. And, uh, and we went through this tough time, and God met us in the middle of that tough time. And life has been totally different. I hear stories that are about people. It's not about ideas or philosophies. 
as fun as that is to talk about, it's about people. It's our story. It, when you go on Amazon and you're going to buy something, do you do you just like pick something, or do you actually look at the thing that everyone looks at, which is how many stars did it get? What do the reviews say? We look at the reviews to decide what are we going to buy, what are we going to buy into. And it's the same thing with Jesus. You're not a G don't misunderstand me. You're not a Jesus salesman or saleswoman. Okay, uh, that's not what he's calling you to. He can sell himself. He does not need you, but he invites you and me into that process. So here's how you do it: is you share your story, your testimony. And so here's my my challenge for you. The question that I have for you is. Uh, what are you carrying? Are you carrying fear? Are you carrying hope? Are you carrying love? Because whatever it is that you're carrying, that's what you're spreading. And hope's contagious. You have a story and it's influential. Your story matters to somebody. And I want to tell you, we did uh, a, a whole devotion on this this week uh, of how to write your three-sentence testimony. Uh, and it's a really non-threatening, easy way to share your faith. But I want to review that with you. If you did that already, awesome. I want you to pull it out uh, and get that ready. Uh, but if you haven't done it, now's the time because we're going to do something as a community. And this could be like a total flop. That would be really embarrassing uh, if it was. But uh, but we're going to do something as a community that, um, and I'm not saying that it's going to go viral. That's not the point. The point is that we share uh, God's love with the world around us. That's our mission. Because hope's contagious. And the world needs hope right now. The world needs to hear how Jesus has transformed our lives right now. And so I, I want you to, uh, during the song that we're going to sing, um, I want you to sing your heart out to God. Uh, and while you're doing that, maybe take a, a pen and pe uh, paper and then, um, uh, or get your phone out, whatever you got to do. And I want you to write out these three sentences. Write out, before Jesus, dot, dot, dot. Or if maybe you grew up a Christian, you could say, before I knew Jesus, like I do now, dot, dot, dot. And then sentence two, but then God, dot, dot, dot. Sentence three, now I am, dot, dot, dot. Before Jesus or before I knew Jesus like I do now, and then you share a challenge, something that you've been through uh, that you were trying to handle without God in your life, without Jesus as your Savior. And then the second sentence, then God, how did he get a hold of you? When you read scripture, when someone invited you somewhere, uh, when someone explained something that was uh, revolutionary for you, the light bulb clicked, whatever it is. And then the last sentence, talk about how you've been transformed. What did God do in your life? Now I have purpose. Now I uh, am no longer afraid. Now I have a confidence that goes beyond my circumstances. Whatever it might be in your life, what did God do in your life? This isn't share all your deep, dark secrets. This is just a really easy, non-threatening way to share your faith, to tell your story. It's your story. And so here's my challenge for all of us. Are you ready? Because some of you, you've already decided you're not going to do it because I said the word challenge. Like, I, I want you to, to pray about it. Just ask God, God, am I, gonna, am I supposed to do this challenge? And just respond to him, okay? Uh, just follow uh, where the Holy Spirit leads you on that. I want to challenge you to record your three-sentence testimony and post it on social media. And I want you to tag two or three people and challenge them to do the exact same thing. We're gonna put something on our Instagram uh, that has like the instructions of how to make your 15 second testimony, your you know, TikTok testimony challenge or whatever. Uh, and I want you to record it tonight and share it. Because if there's anything in this world that deserves to go viral, it ain't COVID-19. It's the way that Jesus has transformed our lives. If there's anything that deserves to be spread all over the world, it is the everlasting love of Jesus Christ. Your story matters to God, and he's going to use it to change someone else's story. 
And if, and you know, you have your social media platforms, but if we use all of our social media platforms and we are sharing how God has transformed us, do you know what that's going to do? Not only will it point people to the gospel of Jesus Christ that saves their souls and brings hope in the middle of their darkness, it is going to point them to a community of believers. It is going to point them to a community that supports them. It's, it's going to bring light into a dark place. You're a carrier. You're an influencer. And we together, well, we're not trying to become famous. But if there's anything that's worthy of going viral, it's a revival of God's love. So during this song, uh, the breeze going to lead us in. Uh, it's called Build My Life. It's about the foundation of Jesus as, as where we place our hope. I want to challenge you to write out these three sentences to sh- and then after this service is done or after you spend time with your group, record it, post it, tag a couple friends, and we're going to see what God will do. Worthy of every song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring You're worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever say. You're worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Oh, we live for you. And holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. Thank you. 
Thanks for worshiping with us. Pastor Nick has a couple of, of other things for you, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to him. Well, thanks, Bree, for leading us in worship, and thank you all for joining us for the Ignition Online Gathering. I want to challenge you to get together with your huddle group in a Zoom meeting or in a Google Hangout or just text each other your three-sentence testimonies. Talk about those, share those, and I challenge you, I really challenge you to pray about posting those online, tagging some people to take part in that as well. We have Monday Thursday services tomorrow at Lutheran Church of Hope uh, uh, online, and then there's Good Friday services, obviously, on Friday, and then Easter Sunday is the biggest celebration of the year. Uh, make sure you, you're attending with your family and invite some friends. Hit the share button uh, and invite some friends. We love you guys so much. Follow us on social media. Subscribe here. We'll see you next week at 730.